Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Tuesday the 25th of April, the local media headlines today. The Falmouth Packet reports a Truro Crown Court case in which South West Water has been fined £1.8 million following the death of a worker more than three years ago. 54-year-old Falmouth man Robert Geach, a catchment operator, had been working on the sand filtration unit at the Falmouth Wastewater Treatment Works when a colleague discovered him face down in the water. He died at the scene having drowned. Southwest Water pleaded guilty to breaches of the Health and Safety at Work Act of 1974. Cornwall Reports tells us that the Emergency Call Handling Centre at Tolvaden has been cleared of any responsibility for a mix-up which saw fire engines being sent to the wrong address in Yorkshire earlier this month. The North Yorkshire Fire Service has conducted an inquiry which concluded that the mobile phone from which the alarm had been raised cut out during the original call and that the Cornwall operators correctly reported that they had only partial information when the firefighters in Yorkshire were dispatched. Cornwall Live reports concerns over the future for the post office at the Kingsley Village at Fradden, which is about to undergo major changes in its retail operation. The Cornish Times says that South East Cornwall MP Cheryl Murray is to raise the concerns of local businesses who claim they've been damaged by the long-running roadworks on the A38. Among those claiming losses are Trago Mills and the Halfway House pub. And finally, the Cornish and Devon Post reports that the Fisherman's Friends are to headline at the Charles Causley Centenary Festival at Launceston in June. And those are the local media headlines today. Thanks again for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.